Michigami Beach Area Campground is in Michigan's Upper Peninsula in Michigami. And it's actually located on the far west end of Lake Michigami, right on Imperial Heights Road. If you're driving through Michigami and you're going around the lake, you can't miss it because there's not that many roads to choose from and you drive right past this campground. It's right across the road from the boat launch. This is a very small campground managed by the township. There's actually only four campsites here and each one of the sites does have a nice little fire ring and a picnic table with it and each one is plenty big enough for pop-up campers or small trailers or a couple tents. I'm gonna walk through here and we'll take a look at the camping area. The sites are not incredibly level all the way through, however each site does have enough space to put a tent on a level pad. There is a small path that leads down to the river. It's the Spur River. It comes out of Lake Michigami on the far west end. You don't really have access to do anything right here from your campsite in the river though. It's very marshy and weedy and hard to get through there. But you can see the picnic tables are actually pretty nice. They're not just your rotten wood picnic tables that you would expect. Each site is marked with a pole that has your site number on it. Here's site number four. We've already walked through all the other sites. They're just one right after the other until you get to the fourth one. You have a billboard that has no information on it at all. And then you have the porta potty that's here instead of your typical outhouse that you would find in a state forest campground. And we're walking across the road here, across the road. I, at first I thought these were public showers and I'm like, holy cow, there's public showers? How weird is that? But they're actually some dirty, not well-maintained changing rooms if you want to change in or out of a swimsuit for the beach area. After we leave the changing rooms, we're going to take a look here at the rest of this little recreation area that's across the road from the campground. You have some play things for the kids to play on, some old painted tires that are always neat to play in, except they draw a ton of spiders. And then a really nostalgic feeling swing set and merry-go-round. You have a fire pit and an old charcoal grill, some picnic tables here. That garbage can that is not bear proof makes me think there's probably not bear. And then way off in the distance there, you can see outside of this sandy beach area that there's a nice boat launch. And we put our boat in and out there. Jared is actually the one sitting down there on the boat. We pulled up to the dock because this is where we have to put our boat in and out of the lake while we're staying up here. There's a nice sandy beach and a lot of people were here every day playing on the beach. And then there's this plaque. Did I mention that I think this campground is actually free to the public to stay at? There's no pay station, no signage indicating a cost to stay here, nothing like that. I have a feeling that if you want to pull in and use it, as long as you're respectful, you don't litter, you maintain your site well, that you're allowed to stay at this campground for free.